Michigan looms large in the newest indictment against President Trump. Tonight, we are taking a deep dive into the allegations that happened amid the chaos of the 2020 election. From a meeting with state Republican leaders to allegations of a vote dump here in the city of Detroit, Michigan is mentioned dozens of times in that 45-page indictment. It also takes up three full pages of it, detailing what was happening behind the scenes and in front of the cameras, for that matter. Mara McDonald lays it all out for us. Mara. Devin, specifically what Trump and his unindicted co-conspirators are accused of doing, which is trying to pressure Michigan's then Republican-led legislature. The Michigan portion of the indictment is concentrating on a November 20th through December 14th time period. It starts with Trump asking both Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky and House Speaker Lee Chatfield to come to the Oval Office. Both did. According to the indictment, the former president made false election claims about Michigan, which both men pushed back on. Shirky telling Trump he didn't lose Michigan because of fraud, like the president was claiming, but because he underperformed with certain populations. In early December, both Shirky and Chatfield were sent texts by unindicted co-conspirators asking both to pass a resolution in the legislature claiming the election results were in dispute to prevent Biden's electors from certifying Michigan's electoral votes. Both Shirky and Chatfield refused to do anything to decertify the election. Matthew Schneider, former U.S. attorney from Michigan, who was appointed by Trump, says the various indictments against the former president, while well, they vary in strength. In my opinion, the strongest case is the Mar-a-Lago documents case. That is evidence that the president had this material and shouldn't have and didn't give it back. The second strongest is probably this case with all the witnesses and evidence. And the weakest case is that New York case, which is uh, uh, also been in the news, but the evidence isn't there and the theory of the legal wrongdoing is also much weaker. So could we see if this case does go to trial, some of those Michiganders who are mentioned in here called to testify? The short answer is yes. We're downtown. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.